Hi, everyone. Welcome to RuneTube. It's 2017 signing day across the country. A lot of excitement. One of the biggest days of the college football season. And certainly that's the case here at VMI. Joined now by VMI head coach Scott Wackenheim. And coach, uh, as you look at 2017, what are the attributes you think that, that makes up this class that really stands out in your mind? Well, I think, first of all, we were looking for young men that had the academic background, the character necessary, and the desire for the leadership training that uh, VMI provides. And our, my staff and myself went out and found that with the help of Vern Beitzel and Tom Mortensen with the academic evaluations, that their office evaluated over 150 potential scholarship candidates. So really appreciate their efforts. And then we look for guys that just were great football players that love playing football. We're looking for speed to improve our overall team speed. We're also looking to improve our length. We want to be a longer, bigger football team. And I think we got that in this class. Last year, uh, the thrust was toward running backs. This year, position-wise, you, you focused on the line, also in the defensive secondary. Yeah, we spread it out. And then I think uh, we've got three offensive linemen and three defensive linemen in this class. And we put 10 players of, uh, on, on the defensive side of the ball. And, eight on the offensive side of the ball, but a lot of them are athletic and can, are dual position players, which is something we were looking for too. Uh, you go back to the history of VMI football when they were best was 11 man football with Coach McKenna. A lot of guys played both ways back then. So, you know, Julie, uh, Peppers for uh, Michigan uh, played both ways. Maybe we got a few two way players in this class. As you look at the breakdown in state, out of state, of course, more, most of them are from Virginia, but a few more from out of state this year, Coach. Yeah, we recruited six states on signing kids. We actually recruit more states, but 11 uh, hail from the Commonwealth and seven are from out of state. We, we got Chris Anderson from uh, Florida, who's a talented wide receiver and very good safety as well. And we've got our quarterback, Reese Udinsky, who's 14 and one as a starter state champion through for 4,000 yards. He's from Pennsylvania. So we went from Florida to Pennsylvania and then went as far east as, I mean, west as Texas, where we got Colin Loftus, a defensive back for us out of the state of Texas. Coach, uh, looking ahead, uh, I know recruiting is never over. You always said that in the first interview we did a couple of years ago. So uh, what, what uh, down the road uh, as far as future recruiting? Well, little did I know is there's really it's a three pronged recruiting approach here at VMI. First, you go on the road and you recruit your future players. Second, you recruit your freshmen that are here on post and they've got a big event this weekend coming up. So we will uh, be busy recruiting our freshmen here as, and encourage them as they get ready to go through a monumental uh, event here at VMI that shows their leadership ability and manhood. And then you have to also recruit uh, guys that have the potential to come back for a ninth semester. And so it's a three-pronged recruiting effort. It never ends. And then on February 10th, we'll have two to three young men visiting post as we continue to add to this class for this year. This is your third recruiting class. Has your recruiting approach evolved uh, any since uh, you've been here at VMI? Yes, uh, we have uh, cast a wider and bigger net. Uh, we have found that uh, as it gets closer to the signing date, you need to have a deep recruiting board with a lot of young men that are interested in VMI because decisions are being made at a rapid rate. And I think also we have learned to sort out the, the men that will succeed here and be successful here. And that's why I think last year's class such, such, has such a high retention rate. So I think we're smarter in how we're approaching it and how we're identifying uh, potential cadet athletes. And then also we flipped the roster. When we got here, the roster was 60% out of state and now we're close to 70% in state, which allowed us to take seven out of state players this year. Final question, Coach, looking ahead, spring ball, uh, what can you tell us? Very excited about spring ball. It starts April 6th, I believe. It's, it's that first Thursday in April there. Um, we're going to look to build upon what we've done successfully. So starting Monday, we, actually the staff's already started, but formally starting Monday, we'll get together, look at everything we did well last year, what we need to improve on last year, and look to build based on the personnel we have to be at our very, very best as we open the season at Air Force. Coach, thanks for the time. My pleasure, Wade, and thanks to all the alumni for all you do for VMI football. And that's the 2017 Signing Day Report. Thanks for watching. Wade Brenner for Rutu.